Hey everyone, Red Mirror with ESG. Now that the fall season is approaching, college campuses will be back in school and more and more people are returning back to work. So that means the return of commuting. Most commutes are not that bad. You are walking to the bus or train station, riding public transportation for 30 minutes, and then walking from the stop to the office or your school. The walking part of a commute is not quite punishing, but who wants to be sweaty in the morning? And then also, you know, you got weather, like it can rain, like different factors. For me, this is why electric scooters are crucial for any commute that you may have. So if you commute to work, finding your way through a college campus or something just for street cruising. Here is a list of my top commuters. Let's go. So let's start off with one of my favorite topics when it comes to electric scooters, and that's portability. Coming in at 28 pounds, it's the lightest scooter on this list. Not only is it super portable, it goes 20 miles per hour, which is enough speed to get you through traffic and you can ride throughout the campus easily. And it's also super stylish. I like the colors, I like the flavors they have. You know what they say, if you look good, you feel good, and with the Unagi, you also ride good. You can't go wrong. Next up, the Fluid Mosquito. This is a portability master. Not only can you collapse the stem, break down the handlebars, lock in place folding, it comes with a convenient carrying handle. With all this, moving a scooter around is a breeze. And I haven't even mentioned the performance. The 27 miles per hour is great for most city commutes. You can confidently weave in and out of traffic at this speed. This is ultimately big dog approved. So the next category is somewhat tricky to convey and that's the premium scooter. You know, it's not quantified with stats. The word premium when it comes to scooter is kind of like love, like, you know, something that you just feel with inside. These next premium commuters will have you feeling good and riding good. Let's check them out. Apollo CD Pro. So when I first got on this, it's not the most specked out scooter. It's not the fastest. It doesn't have the furthest range, but when you get on it, you somewhat forget that you're riding a scooter. Like it's so smooth. I know sometimes people harp on the stats that it's not the most beast scooter, but it has that it factor while riding. Like it feels really good, it's real smooth. It's like clouds on wheels. Tour. Yeah, the foot deck is weird at first, but actually it's pretty nice. It folds straight up to make it even more portable, which is a bonus for commutes on trains, buses, and you can put it in the office space easily. When your day is over from school or work, you can feel 100% confident that other cars will see you on the road because of the nightlight. It lights up your leg and back, making sure you're seen by other vehicles on the road. Last but not least, the cockpit. It has all the buttons you need at the tip of your thumbs. Lights, horns, different modes. It's so easy to access, you don't even need to look down while riding. Shout out to Carson Brown and the team at Tour for introducing something new and something premium. The true bike replacement, the E-Move Roadrunner. This is a Vespa or e-bike alternative. The Roadrunner has a 33 mile range, but you can actually double that or triple that if you were willing to carry extra batteries. You know, you can actually ride to work, go to break, go to lunch, ride back home with that much range. With this being a seated scooter, you can sit down and ride without the stress on your legs. And it's also just a lovely ride. I think if you're truly looking for that car replacement, the E-Move Roadrunner is it. E-Move Cruiser, one of the older scooters on the list, but other scooters still fail to hit the commuter accolades this scooter can. Hands down, the Cruiser can last in a rainstorm and it goes as far as you need plus 30 miles more. It has great speed, superb braking, supremely high right of weight for any commuter. E-Move Cruiser, it's a classic. I know it's probably been on all type lists of all time because it's just that guy. Next category is entry level. Apollo Air is not the most budget friendly scooter on this list, but if you're a new rider looking for something premium out the gate, this is for you. It has 10 inch tires, great suspension, regen braking, and it's also accompanied with a strong app. The folded mechanism is super, super sleek. It's nice and it holds up sturdy. You can take this over bumps. You can ride and rip corners. You can have a smooth, enjoying ride. New KQI2. Is this the best scooter under 600 bucks? We sure think it is at ESG. It has great looks and the deck comes with customizable grip tape. So just visit the website and see what you like best. Being sleek and stylish, it also has a smooth ride and it's accompanied with a great IP water rating. 
and it also has the superpower of a great warranty. The warranty covers you for two years. Even though new entered 2022 as a newcomer, it feels like it's been around for a long time. The High Boy S2. Now this is the cheapest one we recommend for students. A legit 19 miles per hour. All the performance stats, the braking, the hill climb, even the range per dollar is up there. And it also is a company with rear suspension. You can actually bounce on this and the honeycomb tires will hold you up nicely. This is the cheapest entry level scooter that we recommend at ESG. Any Hill UM2. The UM2 on the low has become one of my favorite scooters. Not that crazy spec wise, but I feel this is the entry scooter for the big dogs. It's super smooth and can easily be written with one hand when needed if you need to scratch your nose or something. One thing about this scooter that's not found in most entry scooters, it stays true to the specs even at the high rider rates. And with the removable battery, you can also just charge next to your desk or something. Honorable mention to the GoTrax GXL2. This is the cheapest scooter you can buy that is not a toy, but it's risky. Even while I was filming this video, I seen a couple on the college campus and it makes sense because you know, it's cheap. And now for the last category, the thrill seeker. These are my favorite commuters, the ones I have fun on that I take out on a weekend and I make multiple trips to the store or going to a friend's house, but I get on these just to rip on and have fun. The Mantis King GT. Look at it. I love gold. It's new, it's fast, it's fresh. I love it. And then also the reliable Wolf Warrior X. I don't care which one, the base or the pro, the base is cheaper and it's faster, so I would go with that one. But you can't go wrong with either one of these scooters. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what scooters you guys use for your commutes. I don't have all the scooters. I don't ride all the scooters. So let me know what's up. If you rock with your boy, hit a like and subscribe and also send to a friend because that helps out the channel. And y'all my peoples. And I love all you guys and girls. But not in that way because, you know, I'm married. But I got big love for everybody and I'm out.